My name's Gail Melvin. I'm a research manager at Leicestershire Partnership NHS Trust. We've been here celebrating today the Research Envoy Internship Programme. This has been a CRN funded initiative where non-medical healthcare professionals from an acute trust and from a community trust have been working to learn all about research and trained up to spread the message about research in their clinical service. So why would anyone want to be a research envoy? I started off thinking, what is a research envoy? And I thought, that's not really the point. So why would you want to be a research envoy? And why would the Clinical Research Network and the NHS need champions, people to go out there and deliver the message when it comes to research? Just to explain really how RECA and I became involved in this programme. Um, so Julian and Susan and Michelle e from the CRN came up with the idea for the programme and uh, the trusts, UHL and LPT agreed it was a great idea and they wanted to do this but didn't have the traction to, to make it happen. We had eight envoys taking part, four from an acute trust, four from a community trust, ranging in experience from a band five play specialist right up to a service manager at band 8B. I wanted to start really with a question or to answer a question why did I apply for the research envoy post and I think my career to date has very much focused on the delivery of occupational therapy in the clinical setting and research activity has been of interest but it's been limited to reading journals um, and are trying to apply that knowledge in a very isolated way. We know that we've got areas and pockets of really good care and we've got lots and lots of staff within Leicester Partnership Trust who work really well but we also know in addition to that that we've got lots of silos within mental health and within learning disabilities. We've got lots of pockets of good care but we've got lots of pockets of care that don't work well and we've got a completely fractured pathway across the whole service. All the research envoys undertook a project in their service. This was to spread the message about research to their colleagues or to their patients and carers. We collected baseline data and outcome data as well as reflective logs from the envoys during the six-month programme. And all the data has been overwhelmingly positive. The impact of the programme has surpassed our expectations. We also had representation from the Research Design Service and Health Education England today who came to talk about training opportunities for our envoys as well as opportunities for the colleagues that they might be supporting. So I'm just going to give you the background to the clinical academic careers first because I think it's important that you've really got a sense of that and why these uh, opportunities are really golden for, for the NHS uh, and for the staff that uh, access them. Yeah, and, and you know, success of studies is sort of very much dependent on knowing who to speak to. If I've suddenly got an idea, who do I speak to? Before this course, I would have no idea who I was supposed to speak to. Who do I go to? But there must be research going on. There is obviously research going on. People are doing it, but who do I speak to? Today has been a fantastic celebration of the hard work of all the research envoys. It's been really clear that the impact of their work has not only affected them individually, in that they have expressed interest in developing research careers, it has also impacted on their service, on their patients, and it has also impacted in their wider research networks, linking in with organisations such as charities and academics. We are really pleased and proud of all their hard work. On behalf of myself and RECA, we'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who has played an important part in making this Envoy programme a great success. Thank you.